Hello everyone and welcome to the Intel Forum about the next generation digital signage. Today's panel I'd like to um, first of all introduce as well as myself. Uh, my name is Daniel. I'm the director of digital marketing ROI. We are a leader in digital intelligence and consulting uh, and help clients on digital branding and online sales opportunities. Today, we are pioneering Web 3.0 technologies to automate and digitize the sales and marketing processes. Today, also, I have with me Eric Wong. Eric is a senior executive with extensive experience in the global IT industry. He has a 15-year-plus successful track record at Intel. He leads the marketing charter for uh, Intel APAC and previously worked in several positions in EMEA Asia Pacific and North America. I also have Raymond Ning. Raymond is a digital signage marketing development manager and he is driving uh, the adoption of Intel digital um, signage platforms. Um, when he started his career at Intel, he was in software and there uh, in technical marketing. Currently, he is representing Intel in the digital signage special interest group for open pluggable specifications. Raymond holds a degree in MCE. Last but not least, I've got Cherise Wong. Cherise is responsible for APAC sales activities of Intel architecture, products in embedded applications. She is responsible for account and business management services to customers and supporting all of Intel's online sales group. She facilitates communications between Intel engineers and external sales partners to deliver business ROI. Sharice holds a degree in electrical engineering. Welcome to you all, panelists. Hi, everybody. Yes, nice to meet you. Hey, hello, this is Raven. Uh, welcome to this uh, uh, panel. Uh, it's very excited to, uh, to have you all here to join this uh, panel. Thanks. Hey, hi, this is Sharice Wong. Welcome to the forum. And, um, nice meeting you. Okay, um, for all of you can see the slide in front of you, I just want to remind everybody that there is a, um, a URL that we have in the chat box, just some housekeeping, where if you haven't dialed into the uh, bridge, you can do so. On the URL are phone numbers for every country that you can access um, the number from, uh, toll free of course, just type in the participant code. Because the visuals that you can see obviously is enhanced if you have the um, if you have the voice. So uh, obviously for those who have dial dialed in already, that's great. Um, so today we, we're going to be looking at the agenda, whereby the forum provides a platform for us to discuss the ideation and imagineering about the future of technology when it comes to intelligent machines. The idea is to generate thought leadership on how intelligent signage can drive ROIs for retailers. While uh, you know digital signage itself is not new, the technology powering digital signs is now comparable to the most advanced desktops uh, computing capabilities. This means the intelligent sign can perform complex tasks that enhances the customer experience in a retail environment, which is what we're going to talk about today. This process can literally virtualize some of the retailers in store and in shopping mall customer service as well as sales and marketing capabilities in ways never imagined before. As we go through the various event chapters ahead of us, please feel free to post your question by chat or in the join me chat box. In the slide that you see in front of you, we're going to be looking at creating this customer experience continuum. Let me just, uh, if you will, uh, pre-frame what we'll talk about and then shortly we'll have the experts join us and uh, maybe explain to us some more the benefits of intelligent digital signage. So first of all, there are uh, many options when it comes to interacting with marketing offers. We all know who they are. The online forum, the online channel, I mean, the targeted promotions, mobile promotions, digital signage, of course, as well as social kiosk and digital racks. The digital customer conversation continuum is really about initiating and maintaining a conversation with that target audience. 
And these folks are leads and prospects and customers who are exposed to various campaigns online, on site, as well as off site. Our goal is to assist retailers in continuing uh, that digital communication, which we call the digital communication continuum. So uh, really, it's a possibility now for us to bridge campaigns that are going on on TVCs, on newspapers, on the web, with in-shop, in-shopping mall experience. So um, to the panelists here, um, to my way of thinking, Raymond, Charisse and Eric, this is really about connecting the dots, isn't it? So perhaps uh, we, you guys can talk to us a little bit more. What are retail chains or what are hardware developers who are building digital science today telling you guys about some of their uh, thoughts when it comes to, to digital signage? Perhaps, Charisse, you can lead the way. Please tell us more. Um, yes, sure. Um, yeah, I agree with Daniel that uh, this kind of connecting the dots and from feedback of uh, some of the retailers, they recognize that this Intel compute continuums are actually benefited them in terms of uh, helping them in creating new and exciting user experience to their customers across different devices. And besides that, they realize that this is also an opportunity to allow them in creating a new revenue streams as well as um, helping them to reduce the cost of delivering solutions to their customers. That's excellent. So it's a it's a really a boost to their revenue stream. As you stated yourself previously, you're about helping businesses, particularly retailers, to increase their conversions. And here we're specifically talking about on-the-spot conversions, isn't it? Yes. Great. You guys are going to get a much better idea of what we mean by that. So. Um, and you can see here that uh, the next generation of digital signage really encapsulates the, uh, the intelligence of um, advanced uh, technology that then, then communicate with the audience in, uh, in many ways as they are uh, going about. So maybe, uh, Charisse, uh, you may want to uh, help us out, understand a little bit more uh, as to how the uh, Intel data collection infrastructure um, if you will, uh, is gathering data and, of course, uh, then uh, collecting that data and making sense of that data such that the uh, retailers can then benefit from, um, in, from consumers who are interested in the product. Go ahead, Cherise. Yeah, okay. So, with the advanced technology that we have nowadays, it's actually allowed us, the retailer especially, to connect the end to end solution starting from the customer engagement to service management and back to the back end system which all the uh, data management or uh, the data will be managed to the back end system which is the cloud computing or uh, which is the trend now and uh, see how this benefits the retailer is like uh, now this new trend of cloud computing uh, management is like kind of benefiting the retailer in terms of saving their costs as yeah, they don't really need to pay for a physical server to put into their premises and pay for the maintenance instead of you just need to uh, pay the subscription to the cloud and uh, just pay on whatever amount that they spend on right. instead of uh, okay. spend on this uh, yeah. Okay, so, that, that, that makes sense. So, so what, what you're saying is that uh, in partnership with those hardware developers and system integrators, that Intel has a complete technology stack, if you like, if I can use a, a, a technical term, a technology stack that has an end-to-end -end solution where data is not only captured, but uh, from that point collected, harnessed, and, uh, and, and really uh, being taken advantage of in a dynamic uh, situation, right? Uh, Ray, okay, thank you. So, in, in the upcoming slide, maybe we can look at some practical examples where, uh, you know, uh, intelligent signage is being utilized. And uh, some of the questions that you guys were sharing with me previously is that, you know, a lot of your uh, clients are saying, well, you know, first of all, I know Intel makes great, uh, you know, microchips, they go in laptops, but why are you guys talking to me? And I'm in a digital, uh, maybe, uh, signage business or something like that. So uh, perhaps panelists might like to comment on this. Uh, again, uh, Charisse, I believe you have, uh, you have your own thoughts here about the Macy's Beauty Spot. So go ahead and talk to us about that. 
Yeah, so this is one of my favorite of uh, Purpose Concepts. So this is a put new cosmetic concept that allows the customers to search and select the products from various type of uh, product categories across the multiple brands. Uh, brands. So um, this Purpose Concept is actually powered by the second generation of Intel processor. And it involves the multi-task screen in this system as well as the uh, cloud management. And the reason that we're using the second gen of uh, Intel Core here is because like all this type of heavy lifting of application require heavy processing power. Mm -hmm. And that's why we choose a second gen of Intel Core for this uh, proof of concept. Excellent, excellent. So all, all of these uh, potential applications of intelligent signage really only begin to scratch the surface, right, Raymond? So maybe you can talk yeah, to us. I think, yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, maybe I would like to add on on yep. this one uh, because I think uh, as an Intel, we are, I, I think as it is today, uh, previously we are very uh, known as just uh, silicon and selling CPU and chipset, but not today. As today, actually, we are well, actually moving on to the next, where actually we are looking into the solution space. So okay. actually, why we talk to why talk to Intel? Actually, today we actually go into a deeper detail. So mm -hmm. we actually have a what we call in Intel we embedded we have a what we call a, a retail sector that actually overlook on on the retail uh, sector uh, what we call the business. So what we are doing over here is that we we continue to listen to our retail. What is their pain point especially? What are they actually? What their achievement goal is actually how they can serve better their you know their customer and also. Uh, to more engage with your customers. So this is where actually we can think that with the Intel technology, we actually can help these retailers on yeah. this kind of uh, what, what we call the, the wish list that we... Right, we right. For. So, okay. So this is a POC. Uh, actually, we are going for the for this to, to make this thing that actually it can be uh, to show to people that this can be, have, can be achieved with this kind of product. Right. For example, the, the Adidas, the Adiverse example, that, that looks really interesting. So I imagine that the solution being provided here within the store is that uh, I imagine sometimes uh, you know there's a lot of people in the shops and the shop assistants are quite busy, right? So instead of always waiting for your turn, you can actually go and interact with a product such as a pair of shoes, and and really not about trying it on or anything like that because this is a virtual uh, imaging system, but it's really looking at different colors, maybe something like that. Um, I imagine that could be that'd be cool. But there's so much to cover, so I'd like to. Um, maybe leading on us to the next to the next item, which is where the challenges and uh, potentially what are the Intel solutions uh, that are addressing those challenges uh, that that are that are coming up. So here, uh, if I can just recap this, the industry uh, challenge opportunities. Uh, you've got uh, security being one of the key points. It's about really uh, customer engagement um, is the second one. Uh, and obviously getting business analytics on the fly that's actually actionable can be utilized to make better business decisions or better marketing decisions and finally total cost of ownership so um, perhaps uh, you know um, uh, Raymond you can talk to us uh, just uh, briefly a bit about security and I'll get Sharice to jump in and talk to us about the facial recognition part of it go ahead Raymond yeah okay I think just now we have uh, uh, some information as Intel have a big vision, but actually the Intel, you know, the retail architecture, we are not just playing on the front end side, which is just, uh, you know, the kiosk, the digital signage. We are covering more than that. We are going to the back end, we actually, the back end, where actually Intel platform can play a very important part. So it's just to get every device connected together and then and stream their data to a cloud and to the data center. So by doing this, I think there is a potential or high risk that actually this kind of uh, uh, what we call the network can be uh, can be break by the hacker that actually they can, mm. uh, you know, for example, they can uh, hack into the digital signage and display the content which is, uh, which is not supposed to be. Right, right. But actually, there is a lot of transactions to the money that actually going to the, you know, the kiosk and also the ATM and this is going to be uh, uh, a high risk if this is not secure. So Intel actually look into this space where actually we know that there is a, a, a high risk and we need to, we need to solve the problem on right. this if we want to go into this architecture. So we actually acquired the McAfee. Today actually we are going to deeper into solutions right. to, to provide a totally so, secure solution for the for the okay. you know the architecture. Right, right. Very good. Um, and and before I remember uh, uh, in terms of the Macy experience there, Sharice, you were talking about facial recognition. So obviously the applications are both from a gender recognition perspective, 
so that you know the appropriate solution to the pro appropriate product is being offered. But in particular case of Macy, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more about how Intel plugged in a solution when it came to that, uh, Cherise? Uh, all right, yeah, maybe I briefly go through this uh, Intel AIM suite as uh, I'll be covering this later oh, right. uh, as part of the slide. Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, Intel AIM suite is, AIM is actually stand for the audience impression metric, and the technology behind this is actually the anonymous video uh, analytics, as we call it uh, AVA. Mm -hmm. So this part, uh, this kind of like a uh, facial recognition type of uh, technology which allows the advertiser Mm -hmm. to um, study the uh, metrics and also the demographics of the uh, the uh, right. of the British systems. Mm -hmm. Now that's yeah. very exciting. That's a, right. No, great. And I, I believe, uh, sorry to interrupt you, that, that you're actually going to be digging a little bit more deeper into this subject later on, right? Yeah, so right. Why, don't you, why don't we actually jump in here uh, and, and uh, look at the uh, signage real-life situations in, in, a retail, in a retail environment. Um, which is the, um, the, the, the next slide, uh, number 12. So, uh, Raymond, perhaps you, you can talk to us um, about that, um, just to explain to us um, what are the uh, ROI opportunities that emerge from uh, signage in, in just a plain old supermarket, some, somewhere we go every day. Go ahead, Raymond. Okay, I think this is to give you a, a case study where we, we, we have been working with our end user. Uh, I think that uh, as you can see today, that uh, the, a lot of uh, signage actually being played around with the retail, but there is a lot of uh, hurdles that actually facing by this kind of retail where, you know, their space is so small. Actually, they, they have a lot of goods in their store, and it's very hard to put a sign there. And then, more uh, furthermore, actually, they need to change the locations uh, most of the time because they have to rearrange their, their you know the display of their goods. So if you put a sign there, uh, it's very hard for them to you know uh, to to change the location if it is a wire. So what they are looking for is that they want to find an easy way to actually they allow them to deploy the digital signage screen uh, in, in a more uh, what we call a uh, friendly manner, uh, more easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also, you know, the retail store they are not uh, operate uh, 24 by 7 most of the time, so they want to at least uh, can remotely uh, turn it off to save the power. Right, right. So today, actually, uh, they are using, uh, you know, our Wi-Fi technology uh, right. to connect this uh, this signage. And there is another technology that we have in our Intel, which is called the Intel Active Management Technology. Right. And this technology allows the, you know, the end user to remotely uh, manage the system, the digital okay. signage. Right. Remotely. So this is actually helping the end user to solve the problem of this kind of hurdles. Yeah. Uh, actually, they are saving right. the power. Right. Excellent. Well, and no, that's that's a good point. So you mentioned here uh, remote management. Obviously, this is uh, uh, is very good from a operating expenditure perspective, like uh, lowering the OPEX factor, uh, as you guys call it, which is uh, which is very useful. So um, the next uh, the next slide. Let's look at that in a little bit more detail. How is OPEX being affected uh, when the uh, Intel solution is being plugged into the system? And obviously, um, there are some real uh, uh, cost benefits, not just from an OPEX perspective, but I can imagine also from the initial capital expenditure as well. So, uh, Raymond, you might as well continue. You you are an expert okay. uh, on o OPS. So, Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Thanks. So, actually, uh, today, uh, I believe that before you attend this uh, forum, there is a, a video that you can actually can see uh, to, to look into the what actually the OPS is all about, but today actually with this uh, uh, forum, actually I would like to go through it quickly, uh, especially uh, on the digital signage, what are the challenges that actually faced by the today, uh, what we call the deployment, and also what are the things that actually OPS, OPS, uh, the OPS actually can help you, help the, you know, the end user, the, the system integrator to better uh, know, deploy the system with the, you know, saving all the operating expenditure. On the right hand side, you see that this is normal. What the you know, the, the signage is being used. So today, a lot of challenges being faced by because uh, they need to you know, uh, put the cable, and also they you need to find a space where actually to to mount the media player uh, to find a space for the digital signage. And with that, actually there is a lot of different type of solution. It's very fragmented. So this is uh, something that actually uh, is a challenge to the industry today. That actually they don't have really a good solution to to, to overcome these kind of challenges. So what okay. is the impact is that with that actually you have a, what we call the installation is, is 
the 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 cost is higher because you have to you have to like uh you know uh, change all the you know, all the solutions. So what we are doing today is that the OPS is really helping is that we actually drive a standard out to the industry. So this is uh, what we call the open flexible specifications uh, that is as uh, allowed us you know the 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 echoes our active system to build so that actually they can insert the media player at the back of the screen instead right. of you have to separate the whole thing. I see. So, so Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Now, I was just going to say, uh, to 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 me as a as a business person, as a marketing person, this is very exciting because you can have a standalone system. What to me looks like a giant iPhone, really, in many ways, or giant uh, smartphone, or or a giant touchscreen where I can interact yes. with that device. It's easy to install. It's just a screen. There's a there's a hole in the back. A box a box just plugs in. And uh, you can you can remote control that device. That device can play videos. It has a camera. Can see whether the person looking at the screen is trying to find its way down to Starbucks, or is looking for yeah, something. I think this right. Is, uh, yeah. This is everything. We actually, you can add it on uh, with the, our you, you know the high performance solutions that we have on the Core i5 or Core i7. So mm -hmm. these are the. Uh, I think with this uh, OPS actually is is easier for you to upgrade if you want to have all these high performance solutions uh, that you, you are going to get. Excellent. Good. Good. So um, in the next slide, we've got some, um, some more uh, solution and some OPEX. Um, go ahead, Raymond, continue on. So I think, yeah, I will just uh, make a summary of that. Of course, uh, you actually can go into our website to look into the OPS solutions through our, you know, our open. If you go to search on the OPS Intel in the Google, you, definitely you can find the link there. So okay. I'm going to give you a, a very quick update instead. With this uh, OPS, actually, you can simply you can you can save all the you know the impact of the operations cost. So on, on the right hand side, as uh, you can see that these are the solution that provided, so that you actually can improve your maintenance, improve your service liability, improve the you know the 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 reliability, and also you can upgrade. So these are the benefit that actually we actually bring to the industry by using the OPS solution. Yeah. Uh, and just a quick note to, to all the participants, and uh, we'll be emailing everybody with a link so you can access this, uh, this deck with the audio recording. So, um, you know, by all means, take notes, and I encourage you all to actually ask questions as we are going through this, because the idea is really not to go into the technical specifications and how, how that all works, but to more look at the business ROI from a retail perspective. So again, um, if you're in um, the business of either building those kind of intelligent signs or you are working with um, folks who are, um, you know, in the business of running, uh, you know, uh, marketing or something like that, please feel free to ask questions. So here we're going to look at the uh, OPS uh, deployment in a restaurant. So uh, carry on, Raymond. Tell us uh, how, did, how did that work for, for, that, for that client. Okay. So this is uh, one of the aggregators that actually in Taiwan. Uh, actually, they have a lot of spy putting into the, you know, in the, into the, you know, especially in the retail and also in the restaurant. As you know that in the in the in this kind of uh, environment, the space is very limited, and you 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 sometimes sometimes you really need to change the positioning of this uh, what we call the sign. So what they are looking for actually uh, because the the you know the three hundred sign if you want to manage the the kind of a volume is not easy. And you, if you don't have a what what we call a standard method to you know to maintain that, it will be a disaster if you you you, you have a different kind of uh, method of uh, implementations. So they are looking for this kind of easy way standard method of deployment, which is actually they 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 can save the space and save all the you know all the hurdle of uh, doing the tabling, and also the remote manageability, which is something that we uh, have mentioned just now uh, using the IMT. Uh, most mm -hmm. importantly, uh, today actually a lot of uh, uh, upgrade that you need to do because today, for most of the time, you may need the what, what we call a temporary, uh, what we call a low end uh, uh, media player, but in the long run, you may need to upgrade into high end. So, but with the what we call this is something that we will want to add on in the futures for for better, like just how Sherry uh, is mentioning the video analytics. But this okay. is needed a very high performance kind of four i seven, four i five. All right. So they, they, will, they would like to have a way that actually can easily upgrade their system if they want to. Okay, so great. So what they are looking for is the OPS that just now I mentioned. So OPS allow you to do, you know, to slot the, you know, the, the media player at the back of the, right. the display. And okay. they actually allow you to upgrade. So this is a way that actually they can uh, solve all the, you know, the, their, their... 
need in a in a deep sense. So right, they, right. Where actually they are using the OPS solutions. Right. So now we're going to go a little bit more deeply into actual reference cases, and I believe. Um, you know, in APAC, and I believe that Sharice here will be talking to us about four different segments, and the segments being um, ECG, retail, medical, military, gaming. That sounds really interesting. Sharice, uh, tell us about that. Yeah, so um, for this forum, I'll be talking about the various signage uh, for retail. So um, we have taken up uh, two cases uh, for this forum uh, to share with you guys. Um, and uh, let me introduce to you, um, we have this customer from APEC and um, he's a digital signage system integrator. And he's a pioneer in the industrial grade of uh, digital signage. Um, so uh, at that time, uh, at that point of time, they actually uh, came to Intel to seek collaborations on one of the projects, uh, one of the digital signage projects which they are looking with the airport. Um, so they're actually looking for uh, collaboration with Intel to win this business. But uh, at the same time, they're encountering some of the challenges which they may, might need uh, help to um, to overcome this. Um, one of them is the, uh, the existing system which they are using. It's having performance and graphics issues. Mm -hmm. So whenever they play the 10 ATP uh, full HD display on the gear signing system, they, they are seeing jerking and lagging of the display. Right. And the second biggest con uh, concern that worry them is the price conscious that they raise up by the end customers. So now they have two major concerns that they need to uh, think about and um, there the are things that need, they need to meet the performance mm -hmm. of the project requirements as well as the uh, price point that are um, required by the customer. Right, right. Um, that is how um, it has been triggered to explore these uh, Intel low-cost solutions. Mm -hmm. But at that time, they have very limited of, um, knowledge on that. Right, right. So let, let's look at some, some, some actual um, examples of how signage is being used. We all see them everywhere, particularly at airports. But I really believe that the future has only uh, b just begun for applications of, uh, of signage, and, and particularly uh, signage in a retail environment, in a way that uh, the signage can itself interact with customers uh, in an intelligent way. You know, know whether it's a man or woman might be interested in product X versus product Z. Uh, or somebody is just looking for directions, uh, the, the future is really untapped because these, these devices are really intelligent. They're just like, uh, you know, some of the latest gadgets out there. They can either take voice commands, visual commands, who knows what the pen potential really is. Interest in exploring Intel technologies in uh, resolving their two pain points of scaling up the business and selling up the solutions. And here we introduce the IAMP, the Intel Advanced uh, Management for the Remote Management. So with this technology, they no longer need to send people on site to um, repair and diagnose their system. They can remotely uh, resolve this uh, in their admin uh, through the admin console on the uh, on, on their own. Uh, office. Right, so right, right. Safe on the, um, yeah. Okay. And, yeah. The second one is the uh, aim three, the audience impression metrics, which I mentioned initially, and um, this helps the uh, various signage advertiser to study the characteristics of the um, of the visitors to that kiosk and they actually have better benefits in terms of tailoring the contents to target to the right person at the right timing. And um, so as a result, this helps the customer in reducing the total cost of ownership with our IAMT uh, uh, because they do not need to spend on the maintenance cost and right. at the same time it helps them to increase the ROI because they can scale up the business without increasing the uh, existing number mm. of hit counts. Right, scalability uh, is very key, yeah. right, in and, this environment. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and most important is uh, Intel help them to transform from a traditional digital signage to uh, intelligent signage, which, which is the, one of the trend now right. in the digital world. Okay. okay, great. And this is really the key, isn't it? It's about that transition from uh, good old static signage or even like a, a poster and what we're talking about is a fully interactive uh, system that can pick up video analytics. Uh, I'd like for you, to guys, for you guys to actually talk to, to us a little bit more about what kind of video analytics are being picked up and obviously uh, you know, what kind of reports, I guess, uh, at the very top level could potentially be generated. Like how many people interacted with the product X versus product Z, that type of stuff. 
Would I be right in saying that? Yeah, yeah they actually, you, you get to know like um, your audience, but you can tell the gender of the audience. Right. And also their age. Like, and based on that, you can actually start, study their behavior. Right. And based on this sort of characteristic, you can actually tailor your content to attract more of uh, uh, to attract more attention from this audience. Mm -hmm. So it's actually helping the uh, advertiser to measure the ROI and mm -hmm. also to increase their uh, uh, ROI the return of objectives. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. So moving to the next subject matter, we are going to now uh, go, go through the, the different next steps that are possible beyond, above and beyond, uh, you know, digital signage. So, um, in the next slide that uh, is shortly going to come up on your screen, we're going to look at the evolution. We mentioned briefly that it was about a move from static signage to intelligent, interactive signage. So, uh, maybe uh, uh, either Raymond, perhaps, might like to jump in and uh, just talk to us about the various solutions and the various cores, the chipsets themselves, that are appropriate for each of the functions that retailers would love to get uh, into their shopping centers and into the various stores. Go ahead, Raymond. Okay, I think, yeah, I would like to give you the head start is that uh, signage actually uh, by right is uh, happened is a long time ago. Uh, you can see that uh, earlier, uh, quite a long time, people are using the, you know, the DVD to display some of the content, but it has to evolve because uh, People are not looking just the signage. Now they are going to be a uh, more networked, uh, network connected with the signage. So this is where actually the, the evolution coming in, where actually uh, we can get everybody, uh, you know, all the devices connected together and disseminate the content to the, you know, to the each client with, uh, with the right people to the right time at the right location. So this is where actually the evolution happening on the business side. And moving forward, I think that where the, the, uh, what we call the, the signing is going to move up here on is that they will continue to add in the intelligence. Intelligent meaning what actually is uh, not a, what we call a, a just a one direction kind of information flow, but it actually is a both side. Uh, in, a, in a way that actually you will increase the, what we call the uh, interactivity uh, through the, you know, the touch. Actually, uh, one of the, you know, the, the capability is the, uh, the, the touch. And the other, the, just how Cherry has mentioned that the, 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 there is another type of intelligence actually is uh, through the camera, like the, what we call the aim street that we are driving into the market. The, the allow the, you know, the system signing is just not a, a dark community, just display the information, but it actually can capture the audience uh, who are actually looking at the sign and then, and then it will smartly to, you know, to display the content to the, the audience at the right time. Uh, at the right place, and that is where it's really relevant to the audience. So, continue to be, you know, uh, all these digital signage will be continue to add in all this intelligence, and moreover, all this uh, what we call the the remote manageability. So today, on the left hand side, as you can see that Intel is actually mm -hmm. have all these solutions that provided to to the, to to you know, to to have uh, to to cater for this kind of different kind of needs. So we have the Atom, which is basically for the mm -hmm. basic digital signage. And we do have a very core i5 and i7 actually can do all this intelligent signage. So this is where actually Intel has played an important part in, in this uh, digital signage system. Okay, great. Uh, so I think the next slide might, might be uh, also a lot easier for all of us to visualize what you're talking about here. So uh, what looks interesting to me here is we can look at the whole ecosystem of uh, signage, the video analytics, the lowering of the TCO, the hardware-assisted smart security and cost-saving manageability using the uh, remote control uh, capabilities that uh, intelligent signage today offers. So maybe, Sharice, you can talk to us a little bit more about IAMT. And again, please remind the whole audience what that stands for uh, and talk to us then about VPRO. Yeah, um, so as I mentioned previously, uh, IEMT is the Advanced Management Technology and it is used for remote management and this is actually the hardware based of uh, remote management which can support the uh, out of band features compared to the software management which means that um, the, ad the admin console can actually uh, remotely manage the system even the system is being shut down or is not running on OS. Mm. Uh, so uh, software management would not be able to do that. Right, right. So what we have to, uh, what 
what we have to um, enable the IMT is we have to have the repo based on board, which is the Intel Core i5 or i7 processor with the compatible chipset and also the Intel LAN chip. Okay, cool. So with the same system as mentioned by Raymond, we can use it to deploy the uh, AIM suite as well. Right, right, excellent. So um, in the next slide, uh, we, you're going to dig a little bit more into the uh, what I find really interesting, which is the uh, uh, video analytics part. But one of the things uh, I think you guys were, were talking about before as well is that there's a minimum, uh, you know, requirement for each of the uh, kind of capabilities you want your signage to have. So in this case, you know, a core duo, 2 gigahertz or faster, is really kind of the minimum, depending, of course, on what is the outcome that you guys are seeking, meaning uh, retailers and, and so on and so forth. So in the next slide, we, we can look at the critical breakthrough, uh, which is the video analytics, being able to look at the audience, to know whether it's a male, female, young, old, and, 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 and things like that, so that they can see things that are relevant to them. And of course, we all talk about how digital is a, revol uh, is a revolution in how folks communicate. Uh, using the web. I think this is actually one step beyond in many ways, although you have to be there in person in that the uh, signage can use its camera to actually understand where you are coming from, what you may or may not be interested in, and from there interface and interact with you. So uh, the AIM suite really is about enabling exactly that. Am I right? Is that where the RI comes from? Raymond? Exactly. You're yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, and the install capabilities, to me, um, you know, it's it's actually um, is that is that the same? Is it different than having a mobile phone? I think it complements it. To to be honest, from a marketing perspective, because um, unless I've got an app, app running on my on my phone, I'm not I may not be aware of any specials going on. But in a crowded shopping center on a Saturday where there's like literally thousands of people walking past intelligent signs, anybody can interact with a retail offering that makes sense to that person. And to me, that, that's, that's fascinating. I can't wait to see more of this being made available uh, you know, on um, shopping centers around the country and around the region where uh, retailers finally understand that they can reach out to a customer, maybe walking through the lobby of the shopping center, and they might be on the third or even the fourth floor, but they can push offerings. They can, they can market uh, you know, what it is they are selling to that person based on what that person may be interested in. Uh, and of course, there are other scenarios that come to mind here. Scenarios such as you know, a person seeing a campaign, interacting with that campaign online, you know, and thinking it's great. You know, Starbucks has some coupons, has some very special offers, and they get a QR code or something like that pushed to their mobile phone as they interact with the campaign online or as they interact with the campaign on a TVC and then rock up at the shopping center and uh, greeted potentially even by a virtual assistant uh, saying, welcome to the shopping center, how can we help you? They flash their mobile phone, a QR code gets scanned and you go, you know what, you need to go to that store, it could be a Starbucks, it could be anything you walk up the third floor, just follow the, the sign, and so on and so forth. To me, from a business perspective, this is what excites me. And I'm sure retailers and, um, you know, and for you guys out there, system integrators and hardware developers, please talk to your end consumers and really empower them to understand the, 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 the real effectiveness and the real ROI benefits that intelligent new generation intelligent signage is going to bring to the equation. So uh, maybe, um, you know, I, I can see there's a, there's a few questions coming up um, on our chat screen. And also, Eric, I think, um, you know, you, you, you yourself had a few comments um, at this point. Yeah, I'm so excited today about the future of uh, digital signage and also retail. If I want to know more, I heard some uh, jargon like AIM and also um, IMT. If I want to know more, where can I get more information? Yeah, that's a great point. So on your next screen, uh, maybe we just talk a little bit more about the orienteering in and around the Intel resource. So uh, we will obviously paste various links on our, uh, you know, on our website uh, that you that you logged in to, to to get access to this webinar. 
But um, I guess what uh, what I want to show you guys is that on the Intel uh, website itself, if you go to the embedded section, there are various areas that you will understand how signage is currently being used, uh, practical case studies, videos if you will. Naturally, we will make an attempt. The Intel team will call you and uh, from time to time uh, give you a courtesy call just to find out uh, how you, what you thought of the webinar to begin with um, and of course uh, how we can help you get more out of this, uh, of this revolution in uh, retail interactions using technology. And um, the um, question that just popped up here is, is uh, AI, sorry, is IAMT ready in all Intel CPUs? So uh, perhaps uh, Cherie or, or Raymond, what, what are your views on that? Um, yeah, actually, the uh, IMT is only supported on the VPro based platform, which is the Core i5 uh, onwards, which is the uh, i5 and i7. So all that right. Means that it's, mm -hmm. it's not all the CPU will support it. So the Atom based uh, CPU will not support the IMT. Okay, right, right. So here again, it's important to uh, to be able to chat with one of you uh, before. Uh, before actually going into an extensive and expensive R&D, research and development roadmap. So here I'm putting myself in the shoes of a hardware developer, a uh, fairly large one I imagine, building the next generation of smart, intelligent uh, devices, including signage. Folks like that are thinking ahead, thinking what retailers might need, thinking of what businesses might need, thinking ahead what consumers may want to respond. It's critical that we have a conversation a discussion, an ability for us to have an ongoing conversation, uh, again, with uh, an Intel expert who uh, has been through all of that, has worked with uh, many, many dozens of different businesses, have come up with solutions that have assisted those folks in uh, maybe uh, reducing their uh, go-to-market strategies, uh, as we call it here in Intel, accelerate your development. So I really encourage hardware developers not just to look at what's immediately being done, but to look maybe at one, maybe two, maybe ten steps ahead of the competition. Because there's a tremendous amount of uh, opportunity in the retail sector particularly. And I think that if this is the case, uh, we, have, uh, we, we have only the best ahead of us. So we have a couple of minutes, uh, more minutes left. So if anybody has uh, questions I'd love to ask, um, just uh, go ahead. Otherwise, uh, uh, again, the resource. Go ahead, Raymond. The, yeah, I think there is a question about the digital signage world, right? I think people would like. Uh, can we flip back to the, the point that actually being shown? So I think. Um, so it, uh, I think this is the next week event. Uh, uh, in the middle of this point, uh, this is uh, happening in twenty fifth to twenty seventh of April. Uh, this is uh, in Singapore, Suntech Singapore. Uh, Intel is the gold sponsor for this event. Uh, we actually have a good. Uh, what we call a pavilion in this in this event, and just how we mentioned about the Macy, uh, what we call the pro content, it will be shown there. So if you if you in case there, you can please visit the Intel booth and you will get a good picture of what this uh, demo is all about. Right. And we also have some other demo that actually uh, continue to uh, uh, create the, the kind of uh, what we call the the pro concept for the retailer. So uh, hopefully we can right. see that. I will be there in uh, in three days to support. Excellent. This Hopefully to see you there yeah. in, in that event. So folks, please drop by. We'll make that link uh, available as well on the uh, site that you that you use. We'll send a, a thank you, a, cur a courtesy email to all the people who have registered. Not everybody have registered. I mean, to be honest, we have more than 400 registered, but people are busy. They have meetings to go to. So to everybody who weren't able to join, you will be receiving the email, obviously, uh, with a link to this video recording. So. Um, um, what, what's exciting here is you get a chance to meet Raymond in person, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Very good. So, um, as you know, folks, uh, this is really an opportunity for all of us to start the discussion. It is the beginning of a series of forums that we intend to, um, to continue upon, to leverage upon, so that folks can have a chance to actually understand where is technology heading today you know and where what is the role of intel playing in all of this and as we know intel really is a is one of the leaders in uh, in this sector of uh, microchip development 
and some of the applications is really what excites me personally. Uh, and of course, uh, should you uh, join us again in the future, we'll be sure to let you know what that is. So um, perhaps even ahead, ahead of, uh, of folks who have not had a chance to join us. So if you're a hardware developer, you're a system integrator, who is really thinking about how am I going to grow my business? What are the things I must be aware of? What are the things I need help and assistance with? Well, that's where your friendly Intel expert will kick in. So by all means, look forward to them reaching out to you from time to time. Thank you all. Uh, thank you, Raymond. Thank you, Cherise. Th thank you, um, Eric, for joining us today. Uh, if you have anything further to say, go ahead. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time around. Thank you all. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah.